Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to build simple custom footer with a pop-up contact form. I've got a little button here when I click on it it's going to pop out a contact form. People can fill it out, put in their details, send it off. Really easy to do. We're using the Premium plugin today, Divi Supreme Modules, which is absolutely awesome. So if you've got it, I'll show you how to do this. If you don't and you want to check it out, check it out from my link below. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create the actual form that we want to pop up. So I'm going to enable my Visual Builder. Once enabled, we can go down anywhere and create our form because we're not going to leave it on this page. We're going to save it to our library. So I'm going to just click on here. I'm going to add a new module. I'm going to use a simple Divi contact form. And there it is. I'm not going to spend too much time styling it. Obviously, you can add new fields here. I believe mine just as it is. We'll give it a title. As you can see, let's pop the title on the top there. Let's pull this over here. Good idea to give it a success message. That way they know the message has been sent. And if you want the submit button to say anything but submit, you put in what you want there. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Now the important part obviously for a form is where the form is going to be sent to. This is where you want to put in your email address or the email address that you want the form to be sent to. Not going to have any redirect. You can redirect it to specific pages and things like that. Spam protection. We've got basic on there at the moment. You can add a Google API key if you want to use Google Capture. Again, I'm going to leave mine on the default there. I don't want to link it to anything. Background, I'm just going to pop in a simple colored background. And let's just quickly add a bit of spacing over to the design tab. I'm going to go down to spacing. I'm going to give mine perhaps 20 pixels all around. Just put in the 20, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. We can do the same for left and right. Well, I want that title probably in the middle and a light colour. And I think I want that button to stand out just a little bit more. Actually, that's not too bad, so I'll leave the button. But the title, let's make that white. Just going to roll down, I'm going to make it white, and I'm going to pop it into the middle. Great, so we've got our little contact form. Obviously, you might want to make yours a little more complex, but that's going to work for demonstration today. Now we've actually got that. We'll save the changes. We'll click on it. Go to the little round icon between the two squares and the trash can icon there, and we can save it to our library. So let's call it pop CF for pop-up pop contact form. Obviously, call yours what you want, but if you've got anything else in your library, that wants to be a unique name. Don't want to save it to the cloud. That's a great new service Divi has got for web designers like myself that want to use similar things on a bunch of different sites. Don't want to save it as global. Just want to save it to my library. So I'm going to hit save to library. OK, now it's actually saved in our library. We can go ahead and delete it. That's what I meant earlier about it doesn't matter where you put it because we're going to get rid of it. Great. Well, let's save our changes. We actually don't need to save our changes. We could have just discarded the changes. And we'll exit the Visual Builder. Now let's build the footer itself. I'm going to go down to my dashboard. To build the footer, we need to go down to Divi. Go across to Theme Builder. Here's the global footer I created. I'm going to get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. OK, to add your new global footer, just simply click on that. I'm going to hit Build Global Footer. So it's going to start us off with a blank template here that's just got a simple section in it. And you can add whatever rows you want. For mine today, while we're here, I'm going to make my section. Perhaps give it a blue background, just like we gave our contact form there. So I've clicked on the section. I'm going to go to Black Background and hit the blue. There we go, because I'm going to have light writing and logos on this today. I'm going to save that. Now let's add the row that we want. You can make yours however you want. I'm going to keep this very simple today so we can focus on the pop-up contact form. I'm going to give mine three columns, maybe something like this. In the first column, I'm going to put a simple image, which will be my logo. There's a 
a light coloured version of it. I'm going to take it down a little bit in size and make sure it's in the centre of that column for when it reduces down to mobile. So let's go over to design, alignment. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Sizing wise, I drag, drag mine down to the sort of size that I want it. I think I'm going to make it smaller than that and make my row full width. We can always readjust this in a minute. 75% you can slide you can type in a value and you can increment up and down with the little arrows there Great, I will leave that for the minute in the middle. I'm going to just throw a menu in there and again I'm going to roll down and just use a simple Divi menu module Here you can select the menu that you want to put there and obviously you have to have menus created This is the top one that I'm using at the top of my site here Looks like it's got a background there. I think I'll remove that in a minute that's the right menu though. So let's roll down. I want to get rid of that white background. And I want to make that white in color, I think. So let's go to our design. Here's the menu text. Active link color, I'm going to make that white. And I'm also going to make the text white. And I want to pop it in the middle. Fantastic. I, need to, I want it to be sort of in line with my logo there. So I'm going to roll it down a bit using a bit of spacing. So if we roll down a bit more, we've got spacing here. Let's put a bit of padding on the top, or you can just hit the increment buttons and increment until it's where you want it. As you can see, as I'm clicking on this, it's sort of rolling down. That looks fairly good to me. If it's not right, again, we can adjust it. I'm going to leave that just where it is. Now comes the exciting bit. I'm just going to add a regular button module here. But remember, to do this, we're going to need to have Divi Supreme installed and activated. Let's go to the dashboard. Once you've got DV Supreme installed, you'll find it right here. We want to make sure that we've got it set up to use pop-ups. To do that, roll over it, hit DV Supreme Pro, and that's going to take us to our extensions page. Up here we'll find Enable Divi Pop-Up. You want to make sure that's set to on on the right hand side so it's purple like that. If you don't do this, this won't work today. Once you've done that, save your changes. Great. And that's going to enable us to make a pop-up out of just about anything. It's a really fantastic feature. So once you've got that done, save your changes, you should be good to go. So we'll go back to the theme builder now. I'm going to add a button just a regular button and like I say you can make a pop-up from any module you want with this it really is a great feature I'm just going to add a simple button obviously put what you want your button to say there let's just make it stand out a little bit better on that background alignment wise I want it in the middle of the column here's the button itself let's use some custom styles button text color I'm going to make that white don't really want a border on there, so I'm going to take the border away by incrementing that down to zero. And let's give it a background color. Let's make it purple. Yeah, that stands out fairly well. That'll do great for me. And as with most Divi buttons and also modules, you can create a hover state by coming up here, hitting the little arrow. Desktop state, when your mouse is not on it, will leave it as purple. When we hover over it, let's change it to red or something like that. That should stand out nicely. Great. So we're all done. Now comes the magic bit. If we go over to our advanced and roll on down to visibility, roll down a little bit, you'll find this little switch, use pop-up. Now, if you don't see it, you've either not got Divi Supreme Pro installed or you've not got this pop-up switch to on. So make sure you've done that. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but I do get questions on this very often when I do these. So I'm going to switch use pop up to on. What do I want to pop up? Well, I want to pop up a layout that we saved to our library, which was that contact form. So let's go down. Here's our Divi library. Should be right on the bottom. There it is. Pop CF, we called it. Now, how do you want to trigger it? Module click, that will do because our button is a module. But we could also say on button click because our module happens to be a button. I'm just going to leave mine on module click, that'll work. 
but it has many other options for images, hyperlinks, by ID, by CSS class, on page load, scroll, exit intent. Exit intents when somebody goes up to their browser and is about to leave your site. And we've done videos on all of these before, so check out our playlist below if you want to check those out. I'm going to leave mine on module click. We're going to leave it on close pop-up trigger outside the pop-up there. I don't want to auto close it. If you select this, you can give it say 10 seconds or a minute or however long you want. And after that time, it'll automatically close. But I want them to be able to click out of this as it's a contact form. Plenty of entrance and exit animations. Again, I'm going to leave mine on the default there. Fade in, fade out. Pop up position. Well, I want it to be central, which is great. I want it to stay there if they try and scroll up and down. So I want to make the position absolute. I'm not going to use full width. You can if you want it to be the full width of your screen. But pop up max width here. 680 seems to work for me on most devices. If you need to, you can go in, hit the little mobile phone icon and have different widths for different devices, tablet and phone. I'm going to just leave mine on the default there. Show overlay. Yeah. I want that. That way it'll sort of darken out what's behind that contact form so it kind of focuses on it. I'm going to show a close button so they can click on it easily and close out. It's going to be inside our contact form. You can choose your font and font size here. I'm going to use my leave mine on the generic as, well, as usual which is an X which is pretty standard for closing out of things. Don't want a background color on it. I will make it white seeing as our contact form background was blue. Great, well if we've done everything correctly here that should work. But of course my foot is way too large for me, that's too deep for me. I'm going to take away pretty much all of the padding from the section. So let's go in here, go into the section. I'm going to go over to design and spacing. And let's see what it's like with no padding. So I'm going to put a zero in there and hit the chain. Yeah, it's a little skinny, that's maybe 10 picks. That'll work for me. Obviously you adjust yours how you wish. Now it's a very quick footer but it's really to demonstrate this pop-up here. So let's save our changes now and let's actually make this row full width too. So I'm going to go into the row, the green tab right here. I'm going to go to my design tab and down to sizing. I'm going to full put this up to 100% width. I'm going to copy the 100% control V and I'm going to paste it down below in the max width control V to paste and we've got a full width and let's just adjust that image that looks about right to me say 45% great well let's save our changes we'll save the page changes down here We'll go up and exit out. Make sure that everything's saved here. And let's visit the site. Let's roll on down. And there's our new footer there. Little logo, menu. Here's our button. When we click on it, pops up that contact form for us. Obviously people can fill it out, send it off. Click on the X, get rid of it. That's a great little feature to have on your site. And of course, being a global footer, it'll be on all of your pages. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below, and I'll do my best to create a video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.